autogram is basically what we call a hearing curve and that represents the sensitivity of the animal to detect sounds so how well the animal can hear we do measurements uh, at different frequencies that means tone heights from the very deep tones to the very high tones and uh, we measure at every frequency um, how well the animal can hear so we start with some tones which the animal we assume that the animal can hear that and then we lower the intensity of that sound until actually the animal can't hear it anymore. And with the technique that we use, we can then tell whether the animal has heard it or not without having to train the animals. So usually in a behavioral study, the animal needs to give some kind of response whether or not it has heard the stimulus that we send out, the tone. And here with our technique, we just play the sounds to the animal and we can see directly um, whether the animal has heard it or not. What are we preparing here for the experiment? What do we have to achieve before to the algorithm? This is uh, what we. The reason why I'm here now is, uh, is to talk and discuss with you all the details of the training for the animals because that's very important. That the animal, for example, is stationing right at the target and is in line with the. Um, with the sound source and the target and very uh, um, simply many details need to be discussed so that we all know what to expect when we come uh, to do the real measurements. What I can see now is that the animals are already in a very good training status and uh, so I'm looking forward and I'm very confident that this will become a, a real successful measurement. And, uh it has been done many times, the uh, audiogram of Von Orca? No, actually it has only, done, uh, has only been done once before. There was uh, 1999, there was an audiogram that was published. Other than that, we don't really know what uh, the audiogram of an orca will look like, like how well they can hear and what is the difference between different animals. Every animal can be different, that's what we expect. An old animal will probably have, naturally, some hearing loss in the high frequencies, like we humans do. And that's also something we've seen in other dolphin species or harbor porpoises. That's very natural. While young animals have usually a better hearing. And so we are really excited to have this opportunity to come here and measure these uh, animals. And um, it will be pioneer work. That's enough.